So you have finally decided to switch from Android to iPhone, but you have to make sure you take your apps, data and contacts along with you, right? Don't worry, we are here to help. In this video, I'll be making a switch from Moto E to iPhone 6s. Yeah, it's a big feat, right? Alright, I'm Devinder from pbomb.com and let's get our hands dirty. Let's have a look at what all we have got on Moto E. Handful of contacts, loads of pictures and videos and the apps that I use on daily basis. Now, the most frustrating thing is to lose all your contacts while you're making a switch from one phone to another. But we won't let that happen to you. So we'll begin with transferring contacts and calendar settings in the first place. First, you have to make sure your contacts on Android are synced with your Google or Gmail account. Before you make any move, let's confirm that first. Open Gmail in your browser and click on the arrow facing downwards adjacent to Gmail logo. From the drop down menu, click on contacts. If you find all your contacts here, all good. However, if you don't find any of your contacts here, don't worry, you can sync them now. It's hardly a matter of seconds. Here is how to do it. On your phone, go to settings, scroll down to accounts. It may also say accounts and sync. Here tap on Google or Gmail both means the same. You will have to toggle the button towards right to make sure all your contacts, calendar and drive etc are synced. If you have your contacts synced on Microsoft or any other exchange account, you just have to make sure that the contacts are synced so that you can get them easily on your iPhone. Now assuming that you are setting up your new iPhone. Just insert the SIM as in some cases iPhone won't activate without the SIM. Proceeding further, follow the instructions as they come. For now, I'll be skipping some steps like setting up Touch ID just to speed up the process. The last screen that you will get has an option for moving data from Android. If you tap on this option, it'll ask you to install Move to iOS app on your Android device which is an official offering by Apple. It not only transfers the contacts and media but also installs the iOS version of apps that you have on your Android automatically. It comes in handy as you don't really have to install all the apps manually. Though the apps which don't have iOS version won't get installed so feel free to miss them or use their alternative. Here is how it works. Install the app on your Android device, tap on continue and accept the terms and conditions. Tap the same code that you see on iPhone screen which will make sure both the devices are connected. Remember, both the devices should be on the same network for the app to work. Now on Android, you will see the data that you'd like to copy to your iPhone. You can either choose all of them, Google account, messages and camera roll or skip some. For this video, we'll copy every bit of data. Once you tap on next, the transfer will begin. More the data, more time it will take, so be patient. Once the data is transferred, let go of the Android device and pick up the iPhone. You will see transfer complete on screen and from there all you have to do is to set up your iPhone as you would normally do. Once the device starts, it will ask you for the password of connected Google account. Now go through your device and you will see all the pics in the gallery, contacts and iPhone apps being installed automatically. Cool right? Now all your data is transferred. You can smile a bit, uh huh not that wide because the thing I'm about to tell you isn't very pleasing to ears. The catch is you'll have to sacrifice your apps data. For instance, you won't be able to take your WhatsApp chat history from Android to iPhone, though it'll have all your contacts but previous chats won't be there, it'll start as a clean slate. Just tap on setup as new iPhone. Set up your Apple ID if you don't have it already as it's mandatory. You can see your iPhone is all blank with no contacts, no media, nothing. Let's fill it up a bit. 
Go to iPhone settings, scroll down to contacts, here tap on add accounts, add your gmail or google account, it will take your contacts, calendar and mail settings along with it. Once synced, you will be able to see all the contacts on your iPhone. I know you want to thank me, right? Wait a while, there's a lot more work to do. For transferring data, I'll recommend using Shareit app. Install it on both the devices. You can find links to download the app on iPhone and Android in the description below. Now, open the app on Android. Tap on send and then select the files you want to send. Tap on send again. Simultaneously, hit receive on iPhone. Once the iPhone starts showing in apps radar, you just have to select it and the files will start transferring in a breeze. Similarly, you can select music files or any other data for that matter and transfer it with ease. The music however won't be available in your music app. For that, you will have to make an extra effort. The ultimate solution is to do that via PC through iTunes. I know it doesn't sound fancy but that's how it is on iPhone. So these were the two methods you could use to transfer data from Android to iPhone. You can go with either of them. I personally like the manual approach because the first time I used move to iOS app, it did not work too well for me. But that's more of a personal opinion. So that was it guys. Congrats on setting up your new iPhone. And with all that happiness, do hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel for more such cool tech videos. And I'll see you in the next one.